this afternoon from Kemper Arena Championship Week. Brought to you by 7-Up Continues. And today, a jam-packed house for the Phillips 66 Big 12 Championship. It's the Sooners taking on the Cyclones. The top four seeds made it to the semis yesterday, but Oklahoma State and Texas went home. And today, it's Oklahoma and Iowa State. Hi, everybody. Rod Franklin along with John Sunbold. And welcome to Kansas City, Missouri, in what should be a really outstanding matchup this afternoon. Pfizer, we know a lot about Marcus Nahara. We know a lot about him. But I think probably the matchup we need to talk about, John, is the Johnson boys, one for each team. It has right. made a definite difference as far as making it to the championship. Well, let's talk about Nolan Johnson first at Oklahoma. Last three ball games, over 19 points a game. Another offensive weapon. Not only that, he's a great defender. Stevie Johnson, let's not say garbage player, folks. He does everything about himself. 16 rebounds on the Friday win over Baylor. Yesterday against Oklahoma State, 21 points, 11 rebounds. He does everything on the floor. Now he scores points. This is the way the starting lineups are going to go today. First of all, for the Oklahoma Sooners, the number three seed in this tournament, Raymond Price Johnson Nahar and Renzi Stone, 31 points for Eduardo yesterday against the Texas Longhorns. And for the top seed, the Cyclones of Iowa State, Tinsley, Nurse, Horton as they go with the three-guard rotation, Stevie Johnson and Marcus Pfizer. Marcus with 19 points yesterday, 30 points in five of his last seven games. Well, without a doubt, the best offensive player in college basketball is Marcus Pfizer. You mentioned the 30 points. Average 33 coming into the tournament, started with 38 points on Friday night. Eduardo, the heart and soul of his Oklahoma team. It's not even an arguable thing. He just, that's the way it is. Marcus Pfizer, well, a lot of people in other parts of the country have not seen this young man play. He is a junior, and he really has come on for Iowa State in a way that I think maybe even the coaches are a little bit surprised. He is outstanding and quite a physical young fella at 6'8", 265 pounds. Tip will go to Pfizer. And it's Iowa State on offense first. Two outstanding defensive teams. They will mix, match it up. They will say man-to-man, -man, then they'll switch it sometime to a zone defense. It's Oklahoma team. Starting now, man-to-man. The quick double team on Pfizer puts it on the floor and loses it. J.R. Raymond, Oklahoma. Raymond for three. Can light it up, but he misses on that one. Stone tried to chip it back, but it is Johnson who comes away with it. And bounce pass to Pfizer. Oh, he man. scores it, and he was fouled by, jo by Stone. The hands and the finish. The pass by Jamal Tinsley. They're all conference first team point guard. Iowa State loves to push the basketball. Not a very big team. Tinsley outstanding when he has it. Look at the bounce pass. More importantly, look at the catch and the finish. Well, I talked about the strength of Pfizer, and there is a great example right there that Stone could not yank his arm away from the basketball. The young man plays with such a focus and a purpose on the floor. Rarely loses his concentration. Misses the free throw. But Iowa State goes on top, two to nothing. The officials today, veteran crews, Steve Welmer, the referee, Scott Thornley, and Tom O'Neill, the umpires in this one. Raymond must be careful with the basketball. Tinsley, quick game. Nurse against Price, pass inside, quick hands by Johnson. But taken right back for the Sooners. Stevie Johnson guarding Eduardo Nahara. Tough matchup both ways. Shot clock under 10. Nahara with the reverse, and he'll knock down his first two of the afternoon. We have seen Eduardo lack some confidence late in this season scoring the basketball. Yesterday exploded with 31 already. Looked to take it to where he could score it in about the 10-foot range. And particularly in the second half of the game against Texas yesterday, his confidence seemed to really soar. Bouncer to Pfizer. Give the assist to Stevie Johnson, and very easy hoop for the Cyclone. Unselfish basketball. Oh, what a great matchup between these two clubs. Pfizer with the first four points of the afternoon for Iowa State. Almost stolen again. That time Nurse, and he does cause the turnover. Price couldn't hold on. And, Ron, you understand when you watch Iowa State warm up, they will not impress you in warm ups. They have Pfizer at 6 8, and then everybody else is 6 4 and under. So you're not impressed until you watch them play. Defensively outstanding, they get after you. Offensively, they take the right shots at the right time. Well, you can see J.R. Raymond talking with his head coach, or listening as the case was right there, and getting an earful. He'll be back in shortly. Newton, number 20, in the lineup replacing him. Pfizer can shoot from outside. 
Tinsley, here's the guy. That ball touched by Naharan and missed by Stevie Johnson, but he touched it. Two turnovers, Iowa State. Strength of Iowa State is Tinsley with the ball getting to the paint. Rarely can any defender keep that young man out of the paint. Maybe the best ball handler in college basketball. You won't get any disagreement from any of the other 11 teams in the Big 12 Conference. Newton left alone, passed up the shot, drives it. Pfizer intimidates, can't get it to go. And Stone gets the rebound, but a whistle inside. Well, they met one time this year, north against south, won by Oklahoma in double overtime. And Raymond and Heskett with six three-point field goals each. Ball game. Heskett was the difference. Sooners led by as many as 16. A couple plays down the stretch. Iowa State had a chance to win. Tinsley missed a layup. Michael Nurse missed a free throw. Went to another overtime. And then the second one, Oklahoma. Blew Iowa State out. Tough thing for J.R. Raymond. He's sitting there not back in the game yet as Pfizer scores point number six. Well, he's having to get an earful again because Newton just turned it over. The guards are not playing well for Oklahoma right now. Outstanding offensive low post position by Pfizer. He is a low down low. Nahara makes the reversal, can't get it to go, tip back out, and Stone will solidify it with a new 35 for the Sooners, and then they turn it over. Another turnover. Nurse for three. thing right now going the pace I think that Iowa State wants and certainly not to the advantage of Oklahoma. Exactly right. Oklahoma wants to get half court set. They're very efficient on their offensive end but four turnovers already. Johnson on the floor. Does he call a timeout? No. Gets it away to Nahara. And he is fouled by Tinsley. Let's take a look offensively. Marcus Pfizer again can go outside, but likes to work inside. He puts Eduardo Nahara on his back. It's good low post position in the pass right on the button. And Eduardo very wisely. No sense in getting a cheap foul there because the big ship has already gone out of the harbor. Well, you take a look at his numbers against Baylor. Big tourney record, big 12 tournament record, 38 points, 12 of 13 from the foul line on Friday night. Just simply dominated that ball game. And how about his start here this afternoon? Three up three, every shot from point-blank range. Great assist from his teammates. Where he's become more valuable this season, Ron, is his patience on the offensive end. Does not worry if he's not scoring the basketball. Will step away if he's double-teamed. Can go outside and shoot it. Eduardo, a young guy that, as Avila checks into the lineup, another youngster from, from Mexico, who is from the West Coast, west of Mexico City. He's a 6'11 young fellow. Six to four, Iowa State, as we're about to have played the first four minutes of this championship game. And Kelvin Sampson will change his defense, go to more of a soft zone. Pfizer was dominating inside. You've got to be careful of Nurse and Horton now with the jump shots. And Tinsley will still penetrate against his zone. Potentially, you could see him point and say, give me a screen. But he squared up and missed the jumper. Up of two guys from Brooklyn, Tinsley on Nolan Johnson. Newton left alone. Boy, he almost missed everything. Oh, what a pass. Great no look and a block inside by Avila on Stevie Johnson. Iowa State wanted a foul on that. Foul. Smart play by Stevie Johnson. He really enticed Eduardo Nahara to take the jump shot. Has not been Eduardo's strength this season. So let's take a break. 15-41 left. It is Big 12 Championship. Cyclones by a couple. Team for Iowa State, part of them. Last night, they defeated Texas by 10 points here in Kansas City to win the Big 12 title. Where will they go and where will the Cyclones be seated? Well, a lot of people think it certainly will be very high, at least a four or a three seed. So be 
defense got to stay with Pfizer if he goes outside. Ah. Well, first shot that he's missed. Johnson, nice work on the board. And he has it stripped. J.R. Raymond comes away with it. Stevie Johnson having a harder time this afternoon against the taller Oklahoma team. Avila and Nahara. Interesting that Oklahoma has gotten off to a little bit of a rugged start offensively, but yet they're keeping it very close with a 6-4 margin right now. Nolan Johnson quiet so far, has a look to score. Misses that one badly, tipped by Nahara, and it'll come back down to Iowa State. Stevie Johnson working against Avila, score it, and he was fouled. Again, the push of the basketball by Tinsley. What Iowa State wants to do is just find openings, and Tinsley will find you. Stevie Johnson running the floor. Good ball fake down low. He did this often yesterday against Oklahoma State. We mentioned his 21 points. There's a reaction from the senior. His last trip to Kansas City. Boy, how about that? Impressive so far in this tournament play. Misses on the free throw, but Pfizer is right there, and he'll follow it and miss the return. And Tinsley just picked up his second foul. Decided he was going to sneak up and try to catch J.R. Raymond off guard, and they're going to have to be very careful. In fact, quickly, Hawkins is off the bench. Well, not a smart foul, obviously. Tinsley shakes his head, understands the mistake, and now he has to sit down changes the scope of how Iowa State plays just a little bit. Michael Nurse there off guard. He can handle the basketball. Last year he was a port guard. Horton can handle the basketball. Bryce, that ball touched last by Hawkins. Hawkins goes up and over the table. John Brody of uh, the Oklahoma City paper. Daily Oklahoma. Nice job. Good hands. John. Oklahoma only one of six from the field to open this one. Nolan Johnson almost loses it. And this continual pressure by Iowa State defensively really hounding the ball handling of the Sooners. Well, right now, Oklahoma out of sync. That is not the type of shots they normally take. It's not a shot you take at horse. Nurse. Offensive foul. Sooners are hanging in, though, on the defensive end. Kelvin Sampson in Nolan Johnson's face trying to get that young man going. Had a tough win Friday night against Missouri overtime. One of the best college games I've seen in a long time. Boy, that, that was a dandy, and I know you were working that one. And in overtime, it, uh, it was something to see. Newton, who was a local youngster, knocked down the crucial three that gave Oklahoma the win. Yeah, Kelly Newton, Wyandotte High School product, Kansas City, Kansas. Came back home in front of friends and family. Naharaj has picked up his second foul. So two of the stars of the game with only 13.43 left until halftime, or I should say that much time left with a couple of fouls each. Well, again, probably not a smart foul. Once the play is over, Eduardo's got to get out of there. And going after that ball with a guy in front of you, you know you don't want to pick up your second. Here's the improvement, though, Ron, of Oklahoma this year. They have been able to win down the stretch with Eduardo not having to score points. They won the game Friday night with Eduardo fouling out with about five minutes left in that ball game. So they have enough offensive weapons and they're solid enough defense to play without Nahara. Well, they come out in the zone here. Haywood checks it, replacing Nahara. Back up, back up, back up. Iowa State opened up three for three. Since then, they are one of six from the field. Pfizer puts hand. it on the floor, loses it. J.R. Raymond. Good hand, see if the Sooners can get an open look. Right now, Iowa State closing all avenues. Johnson fouled by Hawkins. Pfizer, I beg your pardon. Not for sure they were going to call that on Hawkins, but Pfizer gets the call, and it is his first. Fifth team foul on Iowa State. No place to go. Comes back out on top, and they go back to him again. Good a play. jump hook. Nicely done. Solid play by Avila. Kick it back out. Reestablish yourself. What they want him to do, though, is attack Pfizer. See if he can score over the top. Make Marcus Pfizer play a little defense. A 
eight to six Cyclones. The bouncer inside to Pfizer. They cover him up with oh, three strong. people, and he still takes it up and scores. Patience. He stays with it. Avila's got to hold his ground already with eight points early in this game. Four of six from the field. Raymond. The high screen hit by Pfizer. He knocks it loose. Six seconds on the shot clock. Johnson driving. And it's going to be an offensive foul. Rob disruption so far for Oklahoma on the offensive end. They just can't get into anything. 11.55 left until halftime. Cyclones by four. <laughs> Big 12 championship game. Iowa State by four. Oklahoma trying to stay in this ball game. And Victor Avila, who we've seen improvement through the course of the year, scoring the ball. Nice little jump hook here. But then on the defensive end, this is where the Sooners are having problems. Marcus Pfizer, one, two, three, four guys standing there. He still gets it point blank to the rim. Power and strength. Yeah, he's a little bit of a of a intimidation, a force underneath there, isn't he? Man, 265 pounds and Again, Ron, he has such a focus on the court. Out of Arcadia, Louisiana. Averages almost 24 a game, seven and a half rebounds, 72% free throw shooter, and 44% from beyond the arc. He doesn't do it a lot, but when he does, you better have a hand on him. Hawkins picks up the dribble, gets it back out front. And fortunate they were in a zone because it, that had been man coverage. That little lollipop would have been picked off. Now, Sooner's defense pretty solid in this zone. Challenging shooters. Horton's a good one, though. Horton and Nurse are the guys you've got to be careful of. Once they get it going, they will spot up and can bury them from deep. First three of the afternoon for either team. Horton hits the three-pointer 40% of the time. Back in the game, fortunate he didn't pick up his third foul as Pfizer blocks the shot, and it's going to go the other direction. You know, we talked about Iowa State and their weapons, and this guy with the ball, Michael Nurse, can shoot it. Cantrell Horton, when he gets it going, he knocked in four threes on Friday, and here defensively, when you attack, Marcus Pfizer is going to be waiting. Stone quickly off the bench as Avila picked up his second foul. Ian Johnson about to check back into the OU lineup. OU back to man-to-man. -to -man. Here's our marquee matchup right here. Pfizer got it. Now that, that to me is what is so impressive about it because he can not only play with his back to the hoop, he can create off the dribble. Well, he does it off the dribble. Kelvin Sampson needs and wants a timeout. And Really didn't even look like a matchup. Nahara on Pfizer. Pfizer took him right off the dribble. So let's take a timeout. This place sounding much akin to Hilton South. It's all Cyclones. Sooners better be careful. This is a 9-2 run by Iowa State right now. And Marcus Pfizer puts it on the point. Gets away with a little bump right there. A little elbow, a little push, extended it. But the elevation on his jump shot, Nahara doesn't challenge, and he's going to have to. Eduardo frustrated by the push, but they're going to allow that to happen. Only two touches by Nahara so far in the game. And you have to wonder how long this assignment of trying to guard Pfizer is going to hamper him offensively. Well, it's a tough chore. What we've seen in Oklahoma the last couple of weeks is their ability to give it to Nolan Johnson and spread the floor. We haven't seen that yet, but they did it uh, against Oklahoma State a week ago in the big win in Stillwater. They did it Friday night against Missouri. They simply cleared out for Nolan Johnson going to work, but we have not seen Nolan alone with the basketball. Substitute of the ball game number 15, Martin Rancic, who is out of Slovakia, played in his high school basketball at St. Louis Park High School in uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Broke a foot early in the season. In fact, the first game we had up there, John, in the Big 12 was against Missouri, and he was, that began his absence and has just come back. Tinsley, Stone. great hands. Tinsley with another steal, and Horton will score it. Tinsley has 83 steals coming into this ball game. He's the guy that will pick your pocket from all angles. Soft hands, quick hands. Back in the line, he's got two fouls. I said the Sooners need to be careful because this is like a home game for Iowa State. There are so many people wearing red and gold in this arena. 
as a foul is called on Rancid. Martin grabbing Nahara. They are phenomenal how many people travel with Iowa State. They have filled Kansas City up for the women's games and for the men's games. Defense inside. You talked about Martin Rancic now back in the lineup. Picks up that personal. And Martin has to, when he comes to the lineup now, he's always been a little bit of a loose cannon with the passing and the shooting. Since he's been back, they've uh, curtailed him a little bit, trying to fit him into the squad. But it does, it does add some depth to the squad. Not only gives him depth, but I think gives him some muscle. And, and he can be a smart player. And they have told him what his role is. Heskett for three. Yeah, he's got to hit those. Tim's got to hit the open ones. Oklahoma needing a big spark and needing it quickly. Otherwise, Iowa State trying to run away and hide with this championship game here at Kemper Arena in Kansas City. 17 to 6. And the Sooners, how uncharacteristic is that? As Pfizer up, misses that one, but the follow inside, no basket. Brandon Hawkins only 6-3, the freshman. Wipe it off. Nolan Johnson gets the foul. Now, Calvin Sampson not happy, but what happens when you focus on one player like this? Everybody kind of becomes a spectator. Defensively, you're watching Pfizer. You forget about your man once in a while. The reaction. March Madness. 14 fouls against the Sooners. It's the first foul against Nolan Johnson. Second, I beg your pardon. Sixty-seven percent free throw shooter. Barely drew iron on that one. Going under nine minutes in his first half. Good pass. Good shooter. Price. Good decision by Eduardo. Not a great outside shooter. Has been inconsistent, but Hollis Price can knock him in. Well, that takes it out of double figures. And Good news for the Sooners because they needed to pick me up and quickly. You'll watch Nolan Johnson will sag off Tinsley. Not a great, great outside shooter. He'll try to keep him out of the paint. Rancic almost steals it. Johnson gets it back and gets it off to Price. a tough shot going to his left kisses it high off the glass and a young freshman coming up big right now they needed somebody to do it but the freshman from New Orleans Price a couple of big trips for him and he's really matured all season long and becoming a tougher player Hawkins way off Martin Rancic inside misses the follow by Hawkins and he missed but he was fouled well, you mentioned Hollis Price, the freshman who early in the season struggled kind of finding his way in Big 12 play, but as of late, he has been really special for Kelvin Sampson. Last six ball games, over 12 points, his ability to handle it and shoot it. On Friday night in the overtime, down two points or before overtime, two seconds left, his two free throws send it to overtime. Not easy to stand there in front of all these fans and not to win. And there's nothing but net on Friday night. Tell you his five points in the last 60 seconds here has kind of awakened the Sooners because they were down 17 to 6 and it looked as though they were sinking. Rancic gets a break, as does Horton. Gets them both. Boy, Hawkins has given this team some solid minutes. Well, it gives them a rotation now of at least eight, if not nine players with uh, Martin coming back. Paul Shirley, one of their forwards, 6'9", is out with a foot injury, and they hope he's back for the NCAA play. Nahara. And there shows the intimidation, the outlet pass, and look who it is, Pfizer. 265 pounds, and he runs the floor with ease. Iowa State, when the shot's up, they like to send two guys breaking. They're an outstanding defensive team that blocks out, they get rebounds, and then they push. And their guards can find somebody. Ten-point lead, Cyclones. This crowd trying to help their team take it over. Nahara. He's off the mark. Tinsley with the rebound. And look at the break here. They've got numbers again. Hawkins. Got it. You want a little addition off the bench? How about the freshman Hawkins? 
with four points. We talked about their ability to get the rebound. And look at Tinsley's head and eyes are up, and Pfizer simply outruns everybody. Again, Ron, when they, the shot goes up, these guys are going to get the rebound, and then they go. Hawkins this time, another guy that can handle the ball, create, doesn't score a lot. But catching up into March Madness, having fun. Four points this afternoon. And Jamal Tins a little pat on the head. Good no call by the officials there because Heskett actually was moving into him. But as we mentioned off the top of the telecast, a veteran group with uh, Steve Welmer, the referee, and Scott Thornley and Tommy O'Neill and trying to let the teams decide who wins the championship. And that, of course, is what you always like to see. Well, how about the crowd here? Oh, I, I'm, when I said Hilton South now, <laughs> since the women played last night, and they brought so many people for that, even some of those fans stayed over to cheer for the men, uh -huh. and they were able to grab tickets from Oklahoma State or Texas fans. But I mean, they must have 75. 80% of the crowd here. Stevie Johnson working hard, not allowing Nahara the basketball on the post. Price, nice give to Abby Lai. Did he travel? Nope, he was fouled. Nice play by Price. We're gonna go one on one. One on one. You can tell right now, Ron, that Oklahoma not having many easy looks in their half court sets. They're not, an, and one of the things that really stands out is Nahara, who normally is so confident and around the hoop, he gets every garbage thing that is there, and he's missed a couple of really close shots. Jim. Missed some close ones, and the other thing is I haven't, he hasn't been able to establish that low block position. Stevie Johnson has pushed him away from it, and has got on the front side and made Eduardo step out, and that's where you want him to beat you over the top with jump shots. <laughs> Victor Avila, a senior, as we mentioned, also from Mexico, as is Eduardo Nahara. We'll take a break. 23 to 13. Cyclones by 10. Cyclones by 10 in this Phillips 66 Big 12 championship. Well, key matchup we talked about earlier, Eduardo Nahara seeing what he can do. Stevie Johnson has been outstanding. Eduardo, four points, two rebounds. Marcus Pfizer, on the other hand, has been spectacular. Six of nine from the field, 12 points. Has really dominated inside, and when he runs the floor, it's been an easy finish. So that's quite a sight. Those guards looked up, and here goes not just a cruiser, it's a battleship running down the court. <laughs> yeah. Runs as well as they do, takes the pass, and there's certainly nothing you can do about it. I'll take a look at the numbers. Last time, Eduardo started strongly, and then Pfizer's ball club made a pretty big comeback. That overtime game, double overtime. Nahara, one of four. He has four points on the afternoon. They'll, they'll back off Stevie Johnson, not an outside shooter. Advisor for three, maybe a little ill-advised right there, but missed it. Nolan Johnson, only two field goal attempts. He's a guy that has been really their special player the last couple weeks. Oh, Johnson has it taken away. Hawkins is the man who caused it. Intensely with the spin move and he'll score. Well, we say smooth a lot when Tinsley has it in his hands. You can see why. You really like him. Oh, I, rarely do you see a guy that can handle the ball so easily and effortlessly. He can put it from his right to his left, and you don't even notice a bounce. I mean, he's that good. Pfizer causes Avila to miss from close range and then gets the rebound. And at the other end, with the left hand, Tinsley again. Now Jamal thinks he's back in Rucker Park in New York City where he used to watch his idols and watching them play the sleepy floors, Stephon Marbury's, and this guy has everything you want in a point guard. All conference, first team this year, uses the body, puts it in his left hand, the softness off the glass. Well, what a special year he has had, and that is why Iowa State is highly ranked. Interesting thing is coming over from junior college ball last year, and we have heard some pro scouts say they'd like to talk to him about coming out after this year. Well, again, I haven't seen a point guard 
and a long time handle the ball like he handles it. When you have a guy that can do that, it makes everybody else's job easier on the floor. Nahara for three. He's off the money. And here comes Pfizer. He had Stevie Johnson open, but he didn't see him in time. Misses the shot off the glass, and Abby Law will quiet this crowd for the moment. 15 points, Cyclone lead, five minutes to play until halftime. Nahara with the follow blocked by Pfizer. And here they come again. Nurse will take it the distance. Everything going the Cyclone way. Nurse actually looked like he lost control of that ball. Well, let's watch the sequence why they are in front 30 to 13. Here's the block. Eduardo working hard on the offensive glass. Every time he goes up, either a crowd around him, and then the Cyclones get going, and Michael Nurse loses control, but gains it just in time. Boy, they're on a roll. Ron Franklin, John Sunbold, glad to have you along from Kipper Arena in Kansas City. Fast break points, and again, I talked about in this first half the things that are rare that we normally see that we have not seen from the Sooners. They have no fast break points. Iowa State has 10. Well, outstanding play on the timeout. The key to all that, Ron, they're shooting 20% from the field, Oklahoma. They're missing shots, and that allows this Cyclone team to get on a horse because they will run. About to hit the four-minute mark in the first half. Back to a 15-point margin. Nurse to Stevie Johnson. I think Stevie was looking for one with that much pepper on it. Stevie Johnson, the type of player that knows his strength, knows his weaknesses, stays away from things he doesn't do well. Nice job of defense by Price to force the sixth turnover for Iowa State. Stacy up and beckoning for his team. Hey, now let's don't uh, do a little walkabout here. We've got a great lead heading for a championship, but let's don't spoil it right now. Boy, not Michael Nurse just gave a shoulder to Nahara. Eduardo coming off the screen to go to low post position. Michael Nurse checked it all and the way out of bounds. Horton goes up and takes the ball away from Avila. No look pass in the middle. Pfizer couldn't hold on. Sheldon's a timeout. 3.39 left until halftime. It's 30 to 15. Iowa State. And this is the guy. The reason that the Cyclones are posturing to win the Big 12. Uh. 30 to 15. The Cyclones. Take a look at this action. Well, physical play. Oklahoma tried to run the same play on the other side of the floor this time down, and the bump by Nurse. Nahara goes out. All of a sudden, you disrupt their offensive play, the thing they called. And the thing that will impress you about Iowa State, their guards are physically strong, Ron. They bump you, they push you. I mean, Cantrell Horton goes 225 pounds, though he's only 6'1". Here's to back up your point. Listen to this balance and rebounding. Pfizer, three. Rancic, three. Stevie Johnson with three. Nurse, one of the guards, three. Horton and Tinsley both with two guards as well. So they, they are expected to work both inside and out, and they do. Well, back to that thought. When they walk on the floor, you think, well, they got one six eight guy. Look at all the other little guy. But... 6'1", 225, 6'1", 200, 6'1", 190 pounds. They are physically strong. Good move. Nahara trying to step things up, which he needs desperately to do. His ball club down by 13 points. Well, Oklahoma needs a good three minutes here. A couple stops, a couple fast breaks, a couple open jump shots. Get, get themselves back into this ball game. Stevie Johnson comes out high. Michael Nurse, he was the point guard last year. And he's going to take it all the way to the hoop, takes it from the right to the left and score. He's going to show you why he was a point guard last year, but although a better was, player this year. He wasn't happy yeah. with that. He said, I'm an off guard, that's where I want to play, and that's why Tinsley has been so valuable to them. To move Tinsley to the point, and of course, <laughs> Nurse shows he can do either. Yeah, Michael, a better shooter than he is a ball handler, such as leading the group. He's a better spot-up shooter. Gets another rebound, his third. But the advantage for Larry Eustace is, if Tinsley goes out, Michael Nurse can step right in that role. Pfizer, double team, now a triple. <laughs> Look at the patience. Nurse for three. 
The patience, though, of Pfizer not to get in a hurry on the initial double team. He waited, they backed off, and they came again, and what Nurse did was just found an opening, and then Pfizer put it across court to him. Nurse with seven points. Price for three. Stone tips it back out to Heskett and a fresh 35. We're under two to play the Phillips 66 Big 12 Championship from Kansas City. Price. Well, I'll tell you, you're right. The freshman has stepped it up, and it has really helped this ball club. He's got seven, and it's come all in the last five minutes. Three again. Not there, but there's Hawkins to hustle for the rebound for the Cyclones. One man triple team. It's hard to block the rest of them out. Marcus Pfizer called for his second foul. Add the triple team and a watch Marcus Pfizer. Well, there's the, the bump, and we call that right away. Going to get a break. That's going to be a lane violation had he missed it. Hawkins in there a little quickly. Brent's eye, 52% free throw shooter, so... Everybody understands possibility of being a rebound here. Good Gets stroke. them both. 14-point lead. Iowa State. We're about to hit the one-minute mark in his opening half. Many people think Iowa State, should they win today, certainly has worked and put themselves in a position for a number one seed. I don't know. There are dissenters, people who are not pro Big 12, who say they're going to be a second seed. Well, I promise you they're number two. At uh, least. There's a chance of number one. Pockets pulls happens. up. Nothing there. Stone with a rebound. Five rebounds for Stone now. I know one thing. If they're placed in Minneapolis, uh, the whole state of Iowa will be there just like they are here. They'll pack that place. You're right. Heskett for three. Big hoop. Big hoop just simply run for momentum, for confidence. That makes it an 11-point ball game as we go under 30 seconds until intermission. Well, the Cyclones want the last shot and the last shot only. Possibility for a tip, yes, but don't give the Sooners any crack on the other end. 12 seconds. Nope, better go to work now. Horton in the middle, puts up a not-so-good uh -oh. shot, and now a foul on Evans. Not a smart foul. With 4.4 seconds, and all of a sudden, Oklahoma down by, what, 17 a moment ago, and they can make this a nine-point game to head into the locker room. Well, five straight points, and not a smart play, and all of a sudden, the momentum changes in the Sooner locker room. They will be talking about the things they did positively the last couple minutes. Iowa State will address the plays they made in the last minute. Haywood prepares to check in, but he's going to come in for the shooter. They don't want Nahari to get his third foul with 4.4 seconds left until halftime. Well, we know Kelvin Sampson. We know Sooner basketball. These guys aren't going to quit. They're not going to go away. We'll continue to try to claw back into this game. It's been a tough half for Naharai. He is 3 of 10 from the field. As that ball is tipped around and knocked out of bounds by Oklahoma. 2.6 seconds showing on the clock. Well, we'll see if they throw one long or just get it in and be done with it. Pressuring Nurse as here comes the inbounds pass. Now get it to Horton, and that should be elementary. We are at halftime. So as Pfizer heads to the locker room, he has 12 first half points, six of 11. Iowa State 35, Oklahoma 25.
musical Oklahoma. They say uh, Wynn built a skyscraper seven stories tall. Well, it's inside today, and that skyscraper is named Marcus Pfizer. I have a feeling that's the way the Sooners are looking at it. He got the first hoop of the ball game, and he has been the man. Well, he really has been, and he's dominated both ends of floor. Then he went out with two fouls. But Oklahoma, Ron, not shooting the ball well. When their shots are open, they're not knocking them in, and, and they're a very good shooting team. Iowa State has a lot to do with that shooting 29 also. Well, Marcus Pfizer, you said it really started the game well, had the first six points, ran the floor well, established his low post position, did it off the dribble also. Defensively, when you take it to the hole, Mr. Pfizer's going to be around, and offensively, he's been patient enough to find the double team, pass out of it. Michael Nurse, three or four for the field, has seven points. Stats in the first half, what jumps out at you beyond that shooting, John? Well, really, that's the key. I mean, you take a look at the bottom, the fast break points. The result of that is because Oklahoma keeps missing shots. Now, they are a 47% field goal shooting team. They shoot above 40 from three-point line. They have to get their shooters open and make the open shots. And the young man who will uh, inbound it right here in front of us, J.R. Raymond, he's got to come out of his slumber. He is 0 for the first half. And Nolan Johnson, 0 of 1, J.R. Raymond, 0 of 2. These are their big-time scores. They've got to start looking for shots and get open. Iowa State player saying play. is Johnson, nice job. Nice half-court set, good curl by Nolan Johnson. That gets his first two. He has been a productive second-half player for the last uh, few games. Iowa State players as they came back out to warm up and shoot some hoops. Say 20 minutes, that's what we've got. Let's hold it on, and it will be our championship. Tinsley, wow. Oklahoma in a soft zone. They want to be beaten from the outside by the likes of Tinsley or Stevie Johnson. But once the ball moved and the defense shift, Tinsley takes advantage. Johnson, back to Price, who had the high screen from uh, Rinzai Stone. Here's Raymond and still unable to connect. Well, got a good look that time. JR is the kind of guy that needs a screen or two. That's going to create a lot on his own. JR Raymond called for the foul. His first. Oklahoma did a nice job in the last three minutes of the first half to get themselves back in this ball game because they were down and uh, not out, but they were down by 17 points. Well, close to being out. Yeah. I mean, the way the game was the, being played. Tinsley. Now, we talked about the first half. Tinsley, the ability to get to the paint. Rarely have we seen anybody all season long keep that guy out of there. Well, he's got nine points, plus he had four assists in the first half. In the first game that we did in the Big 12 this year, he had a triple-double against Missouri. First one in Big 12 play since uh, Brian Skinner had one. For Baylor a few years ago, Skinner had it the unconventional way, though his were by block shots and double assists. Pfizer, the bounce pass and a little too hot and a little too close to Stevie Johnson. Now that's nine turnovers for the Cyclones. Stevie Johnson working hard on Nahara on the block. Nahara can't get it, and Pfizer skies for the rebound. Four rebounds now for Marcus Pfizer. And look at the spin move by Tinsley, and then very unselfishly gives it up to Stevie Johnson. I think he's pretty good. <laughs> Matched up with Nolan Johnson, two guys that played AAU ball together and played in the streets back in Brooklyn. Gave each other a big hug before this ball game. Pfizer with the active hands. Nahara, he'll put up a three. Nope, he passed it to Stone, and Rimzai missed the layup. dribbled off the back of his heel. Raymond still can't get one to go. Marcus Pfizer, six rebounds. Well, last three times down, Oklahoma. Nahara missed about a three or four footer. Stone misses one point blank, and then Hollis Price missed one. Which that he will mostly, most of the time make. Well, we've talked about Jamal Tinsley, the guy they call Mel back in the playground. That's what he does best.
spin move, the finish. And this is where Oklahoma is having problems. And Renzi is left-handed, and he missed the putback. By the way, that basket was not good a moment ago, and it was the third foul on Nahara. Pfizer has it knocked away. Tinsley right there, and Tinsley was fouled. Personal foul number one on Heskett. Yonahara with three personal fouls. Have to leave him in his ballgame, right? 16-25 left to keep him in. Tell him not to pick up the fourth. Got to be careful, though. Tinsley, he loves that spin move. Nurse is there, and he comes to the aid of the Cyclones again. Yeah, 17 Michael. points. Well, Michael Nurse is uh, on a roll. Shooting the ball well, but all of them have been open. Stolen by Nurse, foul by Heskett, his second. Great, great anticipation. Well, take a look again. Tinsley gets to the paint. Everybody kind of helps out. Michael Nurse, four of five from the field, a couple three-pointers in that. And the young man came into Kansas City shooting the ball extremely well, though has struggled in the two wins here, getting his stroke back this afternoon. Look at Tinsley. He's already at the free throw line. It's going to be a hold inside against 34, Jameel Haywood. His first. Ron, if a guy, if a point guard gets it that deep, your, your defense is in trouble. So let's take a break. 17-point margin by the Cyclones of Iowa State. What a fun Sunday afternoon watching college basketball. Horton. G.R. Raymond all over him, and then Pfizer goes out to try to help. Plenty of time at a shot clock, but he is going to be called for an offensive foul. And Nahara with a little uh, conversation with him and a little pop of the elbow. A love tap coming back down the floor. A little emotion. Now, the interesting thing right here, and that's more acting than anything, but, but the interesting thing is the next foul on either one of these guys could change this game considerably. Yeah, it'll be interesting if neither... Right now, Pfizer not matching up against Nahara, which he hasn't really on his defensive end. Stevie Johnson has done that. Price, his three won't go. Nice job of hustle inside, and then Oklahoma has it taken away. And if Haywood comes up with that ball, Pfizer's at the rim, Haywood could go up strong, see if he could pick up a foul. If not, maybe make a layup. Stevie Johnson tips it back out to a teammate. Well, Tinsley puts a palm down and says, let's calm it down and get another set. Going. One of the more active players on the floor is always Stevie Johnson. It's his hands involved in a lot of plays. Maybe he shouldn't be in. Well, they, they miss on the switch, and then he misses the putback, or the, the lay-in, I should say. Well, smart play, because they attack Nahara, who is matched up against Stevie Johnson. He won't miss many layups, 68% field goal shoot. Tinsley with the steal off Raymond. There. Yeah, Heskett was coming right by. The three, not there. Stevie Johnson. Well, Stevie Johnson, 16 rebounds in the win on Friday against Baylor. 11 more rebounds yesterday against Oklahoma State. Only goes about 6-4. Nurse holds up. In and out. Very unlucky on that one. That thing did everything but go down. Six rebounds in the ball game. Sooners need a bucket. Oh, had an open look. Made a tough play. And Tinsley robs him from behind. We mentioned he had 83 steals coming into this ball game, and I believe he's got three on the afternoon. Second on the team in block shots. And you can see why. The quickness. You see officially two steals for him. One in the first half, and now this one just a moment ago. Now, the tough part for the Oklahoma bench was that J.R. Raymond had the open shot. Have to shoot him. Got Michael Nurse wide open, weak side. Pfizer, can you get up with the ball any quicker and to be that size? Well, that's the thing. That the elevation. How quickly and how high he rises with his first two points of the second half. 13 minutes remaining in the championship. 
and a turnover by Raymond. And I think he's going to go to the bench. Yep. Well, the patience, we talked about Marcus Pfizer on the double teams. Last year, he would just try to force the issue. This year, patiently kicks it back out, reestablishes himself. The turnaround high, soft touch. Judge, you've been watching the entire game think about this. You've seen him in every facet. You've seen him post up. You've seen him on the fast break. You've seen him take the ball and create off the dribble. And then you see the quick turnaround there and such a velvet touch. He's got it all. Well, he'll go outside sooner, sooner or later and probably shoot a three. Hit a couple threes Friday in his 38-point performance. Ten points or ten seconds on the shot clock, I should say. Look at Johnson go sky. And He'll miss it. Price, not there. Nahara, eighth rebound for him, and he'll knock down the putback. Working hard. Never stops. State trying to make it a double for their athletic department. The women won the Big 12 championship last night, and the men trying to do it right now is Nahara trying to keep his team in it, but they're down by 17. We'll be right back. Championship of the Big Ten, the championship of the Big 12 right now. Iowa State trying to see if they can run off and hide from the Sooners of Oklahoma. 46 to 29, and look at the matchup so far. Well, I, even though the numbers are pretty equal, it hasn't been equal. Uh, Nahara has had a tough afternoon against Stevie Johnson, Marcus Pfizer, but nobody in the Oklahoma uniform has been able to guard him. Both players playing with three fouls. That shot well short, and Nurse with a reach in is going to be guilty of the foul there. And Ron, you, you wonder a little bit about Oklahoma wearing down just a tad. The overtime game and the, and the unbelievable contest they had Friday night against Missouri. All the jump shots this afternoon had been front iron for their jump shooters. And that's normally a sign of fatigue, isn't it? Uh -huh. Price, well, he thought better of taking the shot himself. Deals it off to Haywood, who scores. You can tell Pfizer again doesn't want to pick up a personal foul. Let Haywood go to the rim. Jim Cyclones, no going to bring Stevie Johnson out high for a screen. He'll not go back to it. Wow, Pfizer fouled by Haywood. A chance for a three-point play. Ron went back to the exact same play they ran before the timeout when Horton made the turnover. This time the pass a little bit better, has a little more English on it. The same position down low and the powerful finish. Boy, the turn inside. And again, they ran this play right before the timeout and they threw it out of bounds. Marcus wanted it again. Watch out, fellas. Watch out. It's coming up. Watch out. Rebound, rebound that. Completes the three point play and now 17 points. For the big junior out of Arcadia, Louisiana. And a tournament record in what he has done cumulative for the three games they play. Previous record held by Corey Brewer from the Oklahoma Well, you know, Johnson kind of short armed that one, and then a foul called against the Sooners. And probably this to me is as actually a bigger surprise than the fact that J.R. Raymond has disappeared this afternoon. The fact that Nolan Johnson has not been a factor, and he had been the guy since midseason who would come on so strong. It really has. And averaging about 14 a game the second part of this season. Last week we saw him in Stillwater, had 21, had 21 again against Missouri Friday night, and just has been spectacular on the offensive end. Frustrating afternoon. I do think this Sooner team is a little tired. Six points for Horton. But you know, Ron, what Nolan Johnson gives Kelvin Sampson entering the NCAA tournament is another offensive weapon. And he has been the guy that they could go to down the stretch and has produced Nolan every one time of, they've used him. I'm sorry. One of three on the day, two points. And the Cyclone fans smelling blood. 20-point margin. Way off 
the mark. Pfizer gets the rebound. Well, just again, solid fundamental defense by Stevie Johnson. Stevie Johnson trying to cut along the baseline. Brinsai Stone was right there to intercept it and knock it away. Price. Tinsley didn't stay with him, and he gets the easy hoop there. Well, understanding Larry Eustacey, as we do, we'll be pleased with that one. Well, very quickly, they're going to have a substitution. <laughs> Number 12, Brandon Hawks. Hawkins will uh, check in, the freshman out of Montana, California. Here comes Price. Yeah, another jump shot on the front arm. Steve Wilmer right here in front of us, and uh, Morton looked at him and said, no, it was off him, and then he broke into a big smile, and Wilmer said, no, you're not getting me on this one. Well, <laughs> Morton is still laughing. He's, Steve, one of the better officials <laughs> that you'll find in this country. Well, uh, <laughs> you like to see that instead of the grimace and the, uh, the gritching. Under 10 minutes to play in this championship. Oklahoma trying to fight its way back, and they're good at doing that. Haywood backs it in and scores. Martin Ranzik off with his warm up, and he's going to check in. Pfizer, the quick turnaround, too hard, and Heskett with the rebound for the Sooners. Now, Sooners will push, see if they can get any early looks in their offense. They've not been able to this afternoon at all. Price just a little too hard. Well, Price trying to do his part. He's worked extremely hard. Nurse at the other end pulls up, bounces a couple of times, and the final won't go. Well, the lead was 20, and as we hit the nine-minute mark, they can cut it right here to a 14-point game. Or down to 12, I should say. And 14. Oh, good block. Stevie Johnson gets the block and a timeout called by Oklahoma. Well, Kelly Newton puts it on the floor, trying to get to the basket. Looks like he has an open avenue, and Stevie Johnson, the senior, blocks it. Good hustle. But timeout made probably before any possession was there, but goes to Oklahoma. Nahara still on the bench for the Sooners. They get a basket here and momentum and emotion may change a little bit to the Sooner side. So far still been all Iowa State. Newton pops out, now Heskett back to Newton. He'll put up a three and got it. About the same spot that won the ball game on Friday night. Now it's a 13-point game, and as we mentioned, the Sooners were down by 20 just a moment ago. Well, we've often talked about Oklahoma, the half-court sets, how good a shots and how good a looks they get. Kelly Newton, good standstill, rise-up shooter. Knocks one home, a local native. As I mentioned, wind up high school here in Kansas City, Kansas. Just across the river, Kemperita. Wanted to go back to it. You know, when your best player around gets triple team, someone's going to be open, either a cutter or a guy shooting an open jump shot. Ranchick getting bumped around, and they call him for travel. 13 turnovers against the Cyclones. Well, but they decide to do a little walk about themselves once they got up by 20 points. That'll be interesting here. This is seven unanswered by Oklahoma. Turnovers even this afternoon. And the Sooner Partisans up and cheering. Part of the crowd of 19,100. Every session has been a sellout all four days. Oh, what a great job Kansas City has done once again in this tournament. Good hustle by Stone. Heskett for three. Haywood hustling. He goes down. And Pfizer needs to get rid of the ball. And he's going to pick up his fourth. <laughs> I know he's talented, but Horton for three. Pfizer fouled by Stone. Close. 
Coach Horton trying to knock one in for deep to get their team going again. Pfizer again with inside position. Naharaj checks back into the lineup and uh, some good minutes from Haywood. He did some uh, yeoman's work underneath on the boards. Such a battle to get back into the game. You've got to make all those open jump shots you get. You've got to make them around the rim, take off Pfizer's numbers. Just another day for this junior. I found it interesting how many Big 12 coaches start talking about, oh, he'd be the second player taken, third, I think he ought to go out. <laughs> I mean, all of them were talking about it. <laughs> He's got 18 in this championship game. And 19 yesterday, and what, 38 in the game before that. Yeah. Averaged about 33 down the stretch of the season. The last five ball games with the big wins over Texas and Oklahoma State, which basically won the title. The Sooners trying desperately to come back. Can they do it? They got 731 down by 15. making the announcement we have 731 left in a game about the trophy presentation and as we mentioned of the 19,100 on hand here or still another sellout at Kemper Arena just a large percentage of this crowd is Iowa State and should they hold on this is going to be quite a raucous trophy presentation but Nahara says it's not over till it's over not over yet and expect the Sooners to try around to make another run here down yeah. 13 they've got to get a couple defensive stops and They've really had not many easy looks on their offensive end. I don't know how he would say it in Spanish, but right now, Eduardo saying, let's don't put any chairs in the wagon. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> stay with the zone defense. They've been more effective. Stevie's Double Stevie Johnson's been team. quiet in the second half offensively. Gets a couple there. Well, he's attacked Nahara because Nahara's in the foul trouble with three, and Stevie's missed the two layup attempts prior to that, but that one he converted. Led the Big 12 in field goal percentage at about 68. Doesn't shoot many outside the paint. Three of seven on the day for a total of six. <laughs> Iowa State guards have really covered up the guards of Oklahoma. Well, that's number four. That's number four on Pfizer. One of the, are two of the things that Naharad does as well as anybody. He does jump into you when he, when he shoots, and you better be in a good position or you'll get the foul every time, like right here. Yeah, how quickly See? he can establish and go. And exactly. The crowd, obviously, you can hear behind us not agreeing with that one. They replay it on the scoreboard up above. The other thing that he does extremely well, oh, John, is up. when somebody is siding him defensively, he comes to your body like a magnet, continues to dribble, and you get the push-off foul every time. Well, as, as, like any good offensive player in the low post, you want to feel the defender. You want to feel the body. You know where to spin it. Right. And like you said, Eduardo, what he does extremely well is when he establishes a position, if the defender's not there, he's going to turn and go in a hurry. Rarely can the, the defensive player get great position. with 14 points, four of five from the free throw line. So Pfizer with four fouls goes to the bench. Nahara still on the floor. He's working with three. And we'll see how long Larry Eustace decides to keep his big All-American on the bench. Well, the score is now for Iowa State in the line of court. Jump shooter, Michael Nurse, jump shooter, Stevie Johnson inside around the rim, but really not a post-up player. Look how far out that defense has come, though, because they're not concerned about Rancic, who was in the ballgame, as the only true inside player. And Martin used to be a pretty good scorer before he came back off the injury. Or, well, he tried to deal that right into traffic, jump ball, and it's going to stay right here with Iowa State. Smart move by Larry Eustace. He now gets Jamal Tinsley back in the lineup. Now, Tinsley with the basketball creates so much for his teammates. This right here is Cantrell Horton goes inside the paint. Difficult pass and really nowhere to go. Iowa State fortunate to keep possession. The lob, Stevie Johnson gets banged by Haywood. Third foul on Jamil. Mark 
Marcus has to sit and wait and watch. Calvin hoping there's something left in the tank here. And the clock now, huge enemy of Oklahoma, as Johnson knocks down the first one. Under six minutes left in the championship. Can Iowa State win it? Well, it has been a very long time since the Cyclones have carried home the conference uh, banner. Both regular season and tournament. Soft touch by Stevie. Crowd gets back into it. Stolen by Tinsley. That little crossover right there. Just, just has great hand. Uh, he makes that steal. Uh, he will communicate on the floor with the opposition. We'll talk a little bit. You are right there. It's like he feels like he is in the playground with his buddies, and yeah. he can do all of that. And I watched him in practice the other day, and normally in practice, players get to do a few more things more loosely than they would on the court. And I marveled at his ability to handle the ball and do some things for fun. And, you don't find many that can handle the basketball and it's just part of their hand. You don't understand when it goes from one side to the other, it doesn't look like it bounces or anything. You know, how do you get it to there? <laughs> Under five minutes left in the championship. The Cyclones and their fans knowing that it is close. They can just hold on against a tough, always Oklahoma Sooner team. Martin Ranzik, how about the unselfish play? One by Horton, two by Stevie Johnson. Shot clock went all the way down, only two seconds left on it. Pretty good possession. Haywood battles for it. Ranchick with the outlet pass, but Newton's going to be right there to pick it off. Well, there's the looseness we talked about in our team's game sometimes. Didn't have to throw it deep. Now all of a sudden, instead of having possession of the ball, Oklahoma makes a steal and gets a basket. Oh, the crowd booing because Nahara scored the hoop and then knocked the ball away from the inbounding guard. He's got 17. Iowa State, Ron, can spread you. They have three extremely good ball handlers on the floor. Tinsley, your support. Stevie Johnson, very good also. Stevie lost the ball. It looked like a good pass, but he got that knocked away. It went right to Horton. Just inside the line. Shot is off the mark. And saved by Haywood. Pfizer prepares to check back in as we hit the 335 mark. Price with the spin move, not there, gets his own rebound and follow. You cannot say enough about this. Boy, what an pressure. effort he's had. He really has given more than 100% today. He has kept it burning. So we'll hold it right here in Iowa State with a 13-point margin. They talked about Hollis Price and how well he's played. We talked about his season-ending play in the last few weeks, how good he's been for this team. Only a freshman. He's developed throughout the season. And he is one of the suitors that have played well today. Without him, they would be in a whole bunch of trouble. Well, in case you just walked into the living room, the storyline on this one, Oklahoma 31% from the field. A season average of 46. Nahara struggled in the first half, continued to battle. But look at Iowa State. Points in the paint, 36 OU 22. And Pfizer scored the first six of the game. He has 19 points. He also has nine rebounds. And Marcus Pfizer back in the ballgame for personal fouls. against Nahara. Marcus uh, showing us a little bit of everything. And he has. He's, uh, <laughs> he really he's uh, you know, what, what do you want me to advertise? He's uh -huh. done it. He's handled. He's shot. He's created. Well, here's the creator right here, Tinsley. Nurse has it taken away by Newton, but he also fouled him. Ten team fouls against the Sooners. Now take a look at the physical play inside. Eduardo Naharach trying to move one big body out of the way. Outstanding free throw shooting team this Iowa State team is. About 70% as is Oklahoma. 
Nurse, a 71% free throw shooter, averages 12 a ball game, and that's what he's got. Let's take a timeout. 3:02 left to play. It is 61-46, and the Cyclones are on the lip of the cup. 46 Iowa State leading Oklahoma a look at Paul Shirley on the sideline foot injury they hope uh, he'll be ready next week but that is a question mark chant goes up let's go state they can feel it and now it is within their grasp Iowa State trying to complete what has been really a miracle season some people back in the preseason picked them as low as the very bottom in a conference race well we know far better than that now but nobody expected Larry Eustace's ball club to turn it around the way they had in this 99 and 2000 season it says a lot about a guy like Marcus Pfizer last year all Big 12 first team this year player of the year not only that but he was also on the most improved team this year so oh boy he went between Johnson's legs you see that Nolan Johnson playing defense Tinsley put it between Nolan's legs you get two guys that grew up playing against each other Johnson picks up his fifth personal foul you Stacy's trying to figure out what he just saw <laughs> Nolan fouls out two points, four rebounds. Well below par for him. And I think, you know, tensely he does look upon it at times as an individual competition, and he is back on the playground. Watch this replay again. Watch what he does to Nolan to foul him out. Boom, right between the guy's legs, defend. We said he can handle it, and he's not bashful to do a lot of different things. He will have some turnovers once in a while. Fun to watch. Tensley now with 11 points. He's got five rebounds and six assists. Newton for three. Got it. Yesterday's ball game. Tinsley 18 points, 12 rebounds, five assists, three steals. Bad note was he also had six turnovers. Hilton Magic. Well, it's like this one today or this weekend has been. Hilton South. 19,100 fans on hand, and just a huge majority of those are here cheering for the Cyclones. Pfizer, <laughs> triple teamed, still has it. And Nurse is fouled by Newton. Nurse goes to the foul line, two of two this afternoon. Kelvin Sampson trying to lengthen this game. See if Iowa State can make free throws. Stretch it out. Get the clock stopped. Tinsley had made two, and Kelly Duke made a three-pointer, so they're just trying to slowly get back in this thing. Shooter. 16 of 19 now from the foul line afternoon for the Cyclones. Larry Stacey's ball club really putting on a strong performance. It's like, okay, we have done our prep work, and now we're ready for the big show, and they're playing very well going into the tournament as Newton knocks down still another three-pointer. Yeah, second one in a row. Rinsai Stone picks up that foul. Very little time off the clock, 139 left. Talked about Kelly Newton and the heroics on Friday night because of his jump shot. That is why they're playing today. Yeah, Kelly said uh, after the ball game, and his quotes were, you, know, you, you grow up thinking about, hey, I'd love to play over there in a place like uh, Kemper Arena, which is just almost a stone's throw from, from where uh, he played his high school ball, uh -huh. and get an opportunity to win a big ball game. Well, he did just that in front of the home folks. Well, down one late in that game. He ball fakes, knocks in the three-pointer, put him up two. And then gets the rebound, gets fouled, and makes the two free throws to win an overtime against Missouri. Well, we've just been told officially this man, the MVP of this year's Big 12 tournament, Marcus Pfizer. He has set a tournament record for a number of points scored for the entire sessions. And his team now with a 13-point margin, and we're about to hit a minute and a half left as Stone will score for the Sooners.
comes in a hurry, doesn't he? <laughs> well, he does. And Newton is looking up saying, you know, guys, I ran in front of a truck. I gave up my life. And then they hit me with the foul. All right, look at the big guy coming. Kelly Newton doesn't want to quite slide another step. I mean, listen, oh, Kelly weighs 190, and they say Marcus weighs 265. That's give or take, and probably uh, giving a few. Very much want to tell Kelly, hey, we want to see you play next week. <laughs> Get ready for NCAA play. Ron, I thought Oklahoma. Looked a little tired this afternoon. Yeah, they weren't as sharp as they've been the last few weeks. They came into Kansas City as hot as any team in the Big 12. And themselves and Iowa State, and they both played outstanding to get to. And Wardo Nahara heads to the bench. Last time that the people in Kansas City will see him in a Sooner, a sooner uniform, a senior. Heskett. Nope. Price hustles out and knocked out of bounds by Tinsley. There's Eduardo. Eddie standing up and looking at the clock. 116 is uh, kind of a helpless feeling with his team down by 13. Uh, always a major contributor. And even when he's not playing, he's out there and hollering for his teammates. Trying to get him to do a little better. Well, he'll be ready for next weekend. This team last year, Sweet 16. They upset Arizona that first round and beat UNC Charlotte the second, only to lose to Michigan State in the Sweet 16. So Kelvin will have his group ready. Not an easy team to prepare for. They play extremely hard. They're tough. And Larry Eustace, they'll sit back and find out what seed they're going to be. John, we've been in this league all year long as we are every year. And I don't think any of the Big 12 seeds, regardless of where the teams go, I don't think any of them are going to be uh, easy prey. They're going to be uh, a load to handle. Well, we talk about these two teams, Oklahoma State, Eddie Sutton's ball club outstanding. You talk about the guys from Texas didn't play well yesterday, but Rick Barnes will have his guys ready. Chris Bibb and Benek, they've got a chance to be a Sweet 16 team or further. Kansas, Roy Williams figuring out what they've got to do to get ready, and then Missouri's probably on that bubble trying to figure out if uh, they're in or not. If they're in, biggest thing there's some sharpshooters going to be coming to the NCAA, that's for sure. <laughs> Price. Crowd is up and cheering as we hit the one minute mark left in this one. Rebounded by Nurse, and it's going to be Iowa State to win the championship of 99 and 2000. Kevin Sampson told his guys no more fouls. What a season for Iowa State. Big 12 regular season champ, conference 30 champ, player of the year, coach of the year. Newcomer of the year at Tinsley. They will not be an easy opponent for anybody that has not seen them play in NCAA. Price at the other end will score it. Fans from Ames, Ron, got what they wanted. A women's championship and a men's championship in uh, less than 24-hour period. Down to four, down to three, and it's Iowa State to win the Big 12 tournament. So the final score, Iowa State 70 and Oklahoma 58. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports.